What do you want? You want money? All right, just... You can just take whatever you came here for and get out. You can cut the act, Mr. Russo. I don't want your money. I thought I did a good job covering my tracks. How'd you find me? Patience. Determination. After so many dead ends, I thought I'd lost all hope. You have no idea how long I've waited for this opportunity, Mr. Russo. Who the hell are you? Joe. Mm. Well, Joe, I don't suppose negotiating is an option, is it? You can try. Your Honor, I will start listening to my inner voice. And from this day forward and forever, I will always pull to the right every time I see an emergency vehicle. And I'll make sure my children do, and their children as well. And that is a lot of people, all from this moment. So, Your Honor, I know your inner voice is telling you to let me go. The rest of the kids' parents around here, they send their kids to school for 25K a year to have the beer put on their heads. So what are you asking? Am, am I going to have beer poured on my head? No. I want to know that this is what you really want if I'm going to commit to your tuition. Steven, is this what you really want? You're going to need to get a job while you're there. I'm going to tell you what my dad told me before every semester. Yeah. No drinking, no drugs, no girls. Hit the books. Listen, Mr. Schuster. I'll take good care of him, I promise. Steven's mother and I spoke out. And we decided there's not a single part of that that makes us feel any better about that. Dad, I'm not into drinking drugs or girls. Relax. Don't worry so much. I can't believe this. How could this happen? Well, my guess is this uh, stack of garbage fell on the stove, caught fire, and ignited the rest of the garbage. <laughs> Later. Here's my ticket to a clean slate, a safer life. You think you could just sell him out and retire to a life of luxury in L.A.? I had a kid. I had to do the right thing. I was a kid, too. I had to watch my dad get dragged out by the feds. You did that. The past is the past. Bullshit. You know just as well as I do, that shit never dies. How do you look your family in the eye? Knowing all that. You know nothing. I know you killed lots of men. You think that just because you had a kid that absolves you? I did what I had to do to survive and provide. I hustled my way up that ladder and eventually someone had to come down. There's the Frank Russo I came here to see. I didn't want this. I was young. Broke. Already showed me how to hustle. He was the one who talked me through my first kill. Because of Hardy, I know that when you take that first shot, that guilt, it hits you like a freight train. It's about time. Call it I came. Is that what I need? Two sets of Canadian documentation. Border Patrol won't look twice. My daughter thinks we're on vacation. She doesn't know that once we're across the border, we're going to disappear. Forever. And her? She doesn't know anything, does she? You have to think. You did all this for her. It's a shame I gotta do this. I know what it's like to be in your shoes. I've been on the other side of that gun. You don't have to do this. You have a choice. Don't make the same mistake I made. All right. Fine. Just, just keep it clean, will you? I cannot have my family finding me like this. I can't do that to them. They can't know. 